Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I want to show you how we completely automated this campaign that received a positive response rate of 4%. Um, so positive response is basically people asking for uh, more information who are interested. Um, and we've actually already booked in, I think, uh, five calls within the first two days. Um, and I'll show you what the campaign is looking like. Uh, so you can see here, this is just the uh, campaign that we're running at the moment. So you can see positive responses of people that are registering interest. And I'm going to show you in this video how we basically automated all of the enrichment side and how we used AI personalization at scale to be able to book in those many meetings within quite literally the first uh, two days of launching the campaign. Um, so first things first, uh, just to preface everything, um, the offer that they have is very good. So that's number one. You wanna make sure that the offer that you're actually running with is incredibly good. Once you have a good offer, um, and I can break that down in separate videos, it's not what this video is about, but having a good offer is gonna give you so much more leverage in terms of um, how you actually end up reaching out and targeting these people. The second thing that you want to do is make sure that you're building an extremely targeted list. Once you've got those two things, then the thing that you need to do is you need to personalize and include relevance at massive scale with AI. And that is exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do here and how to automate it from start to finish. So we built the initial list in Crunchbase. We're targeting um, FinTech and SaaS companies. We built the initial list in Crunchbase. We pulled all of those. Then once we pulled those, then uh, what we did was we put them into clay um, and then we basically enrich to find the uh, owners and everything like that within Clay. Um, then we essentially stuck them in a workflow here that normalizes the company name, um, puts them into Prospio, then from Prospio, we validate the email address. Then this is where it starts to get into the personalization at scale. So once you've done all of the sort of basics of finding the email addresses and everything, and you can see how basically half of the list went down from, from actually finding the valid email addresses, we could uh, still put it through a waterfall and we'll get the like sort of maybe three, three, four thousand. Um, but for now, we're just starting with this. Um, and what we did was we wanted to basically reach out to them saying, hey, we saw when you last fundraised. So we scraped uh online for when they last fundraised and then we pulled that information here and then we normalized it so we normalized what that would look like so they last raised in august 2018 so on and so forth um then we also included a variable in this where we were going to say essentially when the last time they raised was so that we can say hey i saw that you last raised here it's been two years since you last raised you know here's um here's what we're offering right um so that was also again this isn't this part isn't with ai this is simple scraping um so using uh clay enrichments essentially to scrape when the last fundraising round was we could have used harmonic but harmonic tends to be quite expensive for the number of credits it's four credits um so we use that pulled the information here then um once we had all that information then what we did next was we got a company summary now this is where it starts to be really cool and this is where we start to actually be able to leverage ai at massive scale so you see we've got two thousand six hundred companies here that we're able to reach out to. And instead of clicking on every single company and seeing what the company does, we're able to leverage AI basically for every single one of these companies with quite literally one click. So once we've actually input the initial prompt, um, which I'll show you very briefly what this prompt looks like. Um, so using the input, generate a sentence summarizing what the company does. Essentially what we're trying to do is, is summarize what does this company do? So that when we reach out to them, we say, hey, I saw that you're doing this. And it's very specific to what they're doing, right? Because we're reaching out to startups. Um, and uh, what we offer is actually very relevant to what they do. So we're using that as part of our messaging. Um, and then we just formatted it here slightly as well, because um, this had a full stop. And we did want to have a full stop because it was going to be in the middle of a sentence, in the middle of the variable copy that we were actually going to use. Um, so this was a really, really good way of being able to leverage AI massively. To do this manually would have to go into every single company and then from there would you would have to research and find out and that would either cost you money with VAs or it would cost you just a, a bunch of time. Whereas with this, it took, I think, literally to run the entire thing took three minutes. Once you've write, written, the cop, uh, written the prompt, tested it once or twice, it'll take about three minutes for the entire column to run. So you can literally personalize 2,600 emails in three minutes, which is pretty crazy. Um, and for quite literally no, no cost whatsoever. I think per thousand, you're looking at maybe $5. So um, it's pretty, pretty good. So you're looking at maybe $15 to personalize all of this. Or if you're using clay credits, which we did, um, we use clay credits for this. It obviously is just part of a clay subscription. But so yeah, that's, uh, it was a really cool way of doing that. The next thing that we did was we uh, actually um, asked AI, what is the niche? What type of company is this? Because 
you know, if you're using, for example, we help, and then instead of segmenting the list and saying we help, I don't know, marketing agencies, tech companies, and being really broad, you can actually get very specific. And you get very specific here. Again, personalizing even, even more. So it looks like the person that you're reaching out to is the only person that you've actually reached out to, which is the key to actually getting a response from them and a positive response from them. So you can actually end up opening the door to a conversation and booking in a meeting, right? Because if you message someone one-to-one -one and you make it look like it's one-to-one, -one, they are so much more likely to respond and you're actually likely to get the results that you want from cold email. And so being able to actually leverage AI at this massive scale is what's going to be the difference between not getting results and getting results because it's what helps you stand out in their inbox. And so if we're able to have lots of little variables where we add in AI, and the goal here isn't to write the whole email with AI, it's to use little parts of it to make it seem like it was specific to them. So for example, here, you know, um, hey, you know, we help, uh, instead of saying we help startups do X, Y, Z, we can say we help dental software startups do X, Y, Z. It's just more specific and it makes it feel like you're reaching out to just them, which means that they're more likely to respond because it stands out from everyone else who has just done a terrible job of either segmenting their list or just sending a generic email or just spamming people out. This is sending a large volume, but very personalized and the quality is there. So you end up getting incredibly good results as you can see here, we're actually able to book in meetings within the first two days, um, or at least get in the process of kind of like getting people booked in in the first two days and have an incredibly good positive response rate so that we can have lots of people in the pipeline as well, right? Which is what you're trying to do. So we would use something like that. Um, and then there's a couple more areas here as well, which we kind of like uh, use formulas to be able to uh, kind of personalize the emails a little bit more. So all in all, this is how we, were able to take an initial list that we built on Crunchbase. The majority of the work was actually done in building the list on Crunchbase. Once that's done, we have the templates to be able to stick the leads in and it will automatically, it will automatically, um, quite literally automatically find, find the email addresses. Once it's found the email addresses, then it will validate the email, then it will scrape. And then once it's scraped, it will go through all of these different formulas to basically spit out every single part that we want that is completely personalized. And then it will go through the AI side. So we've already written the prompts. And if so if we were to add more leads to this list, which we can very easily do, and we will do, we can either import or we can go back to the company search tab and we can search more. And every single one of those leads that we pull will go through this exact same work workflow and will be automatically updated. And then at the end of it, we'll automatically go into our smart lead campaign uh, as well. So it's quite literally um, completely automated once the initial setup of the emails uh, of list building is done. Um, so once that, that side of things is done, then you're able to completely automate that entire workflow so that you're getting very personalized message in front of your audience, standing out in the inbox, as opposed to just sending generic emails or have, you know wondering why you're not necessarily doing well. So if you can learn how to personalize your emails at scale and learn how to leverage AI to be able to do that, to be able to cut through the noise and to be able to actually get responses from people, you will win in cold email. Right. As long as you do that alongside a good off with a good offer. And, um, you know, for example, in this, we're not even using lead magnets. We're not even using lead magnets. That is the power of using AI personalization at a massive scale. If you can do that, you will cut through everyone's inbox, like you know, stand out in everyone's inbox and make your emails look one to one and personalized. Um, and you'll be able to just ba basically get much, much better results. So I hope this video is useful. This is, um, how like for us. If you're interested in me sharing like the templates to this, feel free to drop it below because we've actually got access to the beta for the clay to be able to share templates. So I can share the templates below. So it's quite literally, you just add the leads in, it will automatically update every single column and it will spit out the final messaging, the final the final copy that you actually want. And you can then quite literally just send it. So it's pretty much completely automatic and automated. So yeah, I hope this helps. And um, if also, if you're interested in booking in a call and learning more about how we can do this for you, complete done for you service, um, you can schedule a call with the link below. We have three criteria. Number one is make sure that your TAM is actually large, so over 50,000 prospects. Number two, you've got product market fit and you have uh, case studies um, and reviews and testimonials with your service and you have a good quality service. Uh, and number three, you have a high ticket service. So you, your average contract value is at least minimum, minimum of $5,000. If those, if you fit those things, then feel free to book in a call below and we can help you scale with cold email. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.